Listen up. The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed in this podcast belong solely to the podcast participants and not to any participants, employer, organization, committee, or other group or individual. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. You know, for fun. So lighten up and enjoy. Okay. Welcome, everybody, to a very, very special Soft Serve podcast. We're back in the wilds of Maine. We're here with an exciting cast of characters. We're here with Sky, River, Esteban, Ted, Rose, Space Unicorn, Mastiff Mom is in the room, Uncle Pine Tree, Auntie Sugar, also known as Stomping Jen, and yours truly, Sawtooth Frank, for this episode who will be known as Beardo the Weirdo, and Heather, who has appeared on this podcast before under the name Auntie Strawberry, Strawberry, but also as Heather, on our episode on gun violence. Go listen to it. Now, without further ado, I give you the Soft Serve Podcast. The Soft Serve Podcast. Creamy, delicious ideas without the creepy truck. Okay, everybody, we're here, we're live, we are ready to talk, am I right? Yeah, sure. That was Ted, Esteban? Yeah. All right, now, we're going to allow everyone to go around and introduce themselves, okay? So, we're going to start on my right, and where we have, well, I don't think, Uncle Pine Tree's not in. He's not down. I'm going to give him the sound of disapproval. You can't hear this. But it's a fail horn. Yep. Auntie Strawberry, are you, are you participating? Oh. You get the sound of approval. All right, you're going to have to talk into the front of this microphone here. Okay? Say hi, Auntie Strawberry. Hello, everyone. Oh, she sounds good. Okay. Now, immediately to Auntie Strawberry's right is appearing for the third time, a bona fide star. Bona fide? Bona fide? Who knows? I don't know. Does anybody else know? All right. It's the one and the only, let me look at my notes, Sky. Say hi, Sky. Hi. Let's move this microphone closer to you, to the edge of the table. There you go. You're good to go. All right, anything you want to say, Sky? about yourself in terms of an introduction. This is your time to shine. Go ahead. Um, I was in the other episodes, Dolphins Are Labradors and The Mysteries in Kevin 8. Oh, that's right. Dolphins are dogs. That's a... That's, a, that's a mo- my quote. Dolphins are dogs. That's right. And the episode entitled The Mysteries of Kevin 8. And here we are now, back in Maine, recording another episode. Now... 
immediately to your right is another star reappearing on the podcast. It's the one, the only, hold on, let me check my notes. River. Say hi, River. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Yeah? Are you excited to be here on the podcast? Yeah. I'm excited you're here. You sound great. Is there anything you want to say? Um... I'm a dear fan, and... Uh... A deer fan? Like a fan of the animal? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I like deers too. I'm going to give you the sound of approval. You can't hear this, but it's a, it's a chime. Okay, you got you got the approval sound. You heard it? Okay. All right. Anything else? Um, anything else? Um, anything else? River. Should we move on, River? Yeah. Yeah, okay. If you think of something, you let me know, okay? Now, going to the nefarious corner of the table where we have our resident teenager and tweenager, Esteban. Say hello, Esteban. How's it hanging, homies? Boy, Shuo, Edian, Jongwen. Okay. Now, <clears throat> just get a um, Esteban. Just get a little closer to the microphone next time. Don't don't be afraid to touch um, Ted Y'all over there. Speak some Chinese. Yes. Okay. I'll get in a little closer, um, Ted. You don't have to yell. Just get closer to the microphone and talk normal. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, I do, Esteban. Now you get about that close, Esteban, and that means you move out of the way, Ted. We're sharing microphones here. Hi. Good, good. You are on mic number uh, two. Okay. Um, now, we'll get back to you, um, Sky. Anything else you want to say, Esteban? No. Okay, a man of many words. Um, Ted, we're going to go over to you now. You have appeared on the podcast many times, so you will not be a surprise to our listeners. No, I'm not very surprising in any aspect. Anything you would like to say, Ted? Esteban mispronounced his tones. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Bukuchi. Get a little bit, little bit, little bit closer there, um, Esteban, next time. A little bit closer, okay? And I didn't say thank you. All right, let's move along from this corner of the table. I think we've had enough from the um, nefarious corner of the table. Now, now appearing back here also for the third time is our breakout star. That's the only way to describe her. Rose. Say hi, Rose. Hi. Your mic technique is perfect. Yep, no coaching required. Anything you want to say? We're, we're, now, I, I, I do want to let people know you're dealing with a bit of a cold, okay? And we appreciate your willingness to appear on the podcast. So thank you. Um, I'm very happy you're here. Now, anything you want to say? I'm a fan of dogs, and I have a, um, a fun fact about dogs. There is a, do- a breed of dog called a... Basandi, and it yodels instead of barks. That's all I have to say for now. Okay. Thank you for the information about Basanjis. Um, the more we know about yodeling dogs, I think the better we all are. So thank you. Now, to um, Rose's right is another frequent guest on the Soft Serve podcast. We all know her as Space Unicorn. Say hello, Space Unicorn. Um, Go over to this mic here. Share the mic with Rose. Hello, Space Unicorn. Okay. Anything else you want to say, Space Unicorn? Your fans want to hear from you. Go ahead. But what if I don't have any fans? Up, talk, talk right, talk right there. But what if I don't have any fans? Uh, You do. We we've heard from them. We know you have fans. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. Anything, anything you want to say? I don't have any fans. That's what I want to say. Okay. All right. I'm just okay, gonna, indeed. I'm going to make an adjustment here. I'm going to pull this a little bit closer, this mic. we got to make some adjustments here and there. Um, 
Now, we don't have we don't have stomping Jen here at the table, so nobody will need to be yelled at for their microphone technique. Okay. Now, we've done introductions. Have we though? Yes, we have Space Unicorn. Thank you. Um, now on to the the heart of the show. I realize this is a big group, right? Yeah. We're gonna get ants in our pants at some point, so we need to blast through this show content are we and this outline. Are we actually gonna get ants in our pants? We might. We are in the woods of Maine. <laughs> but the last wait, I thought we were in Norway. Same thing. Yeah, they're close together. <laughs> they're close enough. Okay. Um, actually, I did see an ant nest. Okay, now hold on. One of the, now, I want to point out something that Sky is doing correctly. I'm going to give you a sound of approval. You raised your hand when you wanted to speak. Everybody take note of this. Just a minute, Space Unicorn. Um, Sky, what is it you wanted to say? We don't have as big of a group as we did last time because Vivian, Coraline, and Rubber Ducky aren't here. Thank you for thank you for pointing that out. That was actually a very um, conscientious thing to do, and it was on my list to do, um, which was point out the cousins who are not here. Um, say their names again, please. Coraline. Coraline, yes. Vivian. Vivian. And Rubber Ducky. Rubber Ducky. They're not here, but they are here in spirit. Am I right? Um, okay. We're first. We're gonna first. We're gonna go to um, Rose over here, and then we'll go to Space Unicorn. Rose, what would you like to say about our cousins who are not here? Um, it was fun having them here. I am very sad they couldn't come. Me too. Thank you. Um, I agree with you a hundred percent. Now, Space Unicorn, go ahead. We're also sad that you should put on um, a sad sign up. A sad noise. A sad song? No, like a sad noise. Oh, I do have a vi a, a sad violin song I can play. Um, okay. Now, um, back to you, Sky. Go ahead. I bet Hogshank isn't sad. He's not here because there's a lot of dogs here. Oh, right. If we remember, Hogshank, um, who is my brother, actually, Sawtooth Frank's brother, Uncle Hogshank, is terrified of dogs. Um, <laughs> It's terrified, dramatic. yes. Um, it's he's even known to pee in his pants when he sees a dog. Nope. Yes. Nope. All right, now let's move along to our topics, shall we? Yep. Is that okay with everybody? You could talk into your mics and say yes. Yep. Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you, um, River. C. Um, okay. Yes. Now we have a long list of topics here to go through. Now. Uh, we didn't need to We didn't need to Sky. Do that. that was Sky. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. How disgusting. That was you. Um, River, you're laughing at that. Was that was was that funny? It is. Okay. So you think you have to learn to use your manners. <laughs> He plays, he has a duck in his butt. Wasn't that a horrible thing that uh, River did? I mean, Sky did? Okay. That was you. Okay. Um, no, no, reason to, um, no reason to deny it, Sky. It now, him. let's go down to the nefarious corner of the table. Um, Ted, what would you like to say? I believe that um, the, at, the um, amount of CO2 in the atmosphere just increased by about 50%. Okay. Thanks to Sawtooth, Frank. Nope, that was all due to Sky. Okay, uh, Space Unicorn, yes, go ahead. Talk into your microphone, please. Global warming sucks. Agreed. Okay, now, shall we move on to our topics? I have a very long list. Now, Sky, you had suggested some uh, prior, just prior to us starting. I told you I wrote them down, but I lied to you. Now, what were the topics? I forget. All right, well, I've got a very long list here. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. I've got the very first one. Now, somebody mentioned dogs earlier. I had a question for you. Okay. Should Stomping Jen, Auntie Sugar, get me, Sawtooth Frank, um, also known as Uncle Beardo the Weirdo, a Saint Birdoodle? Yes. Um, no. Let's go, now, now yes. let's let's go. Okay. Um, um, Ted, uh, Ted, go ahead. No, I would like you to play the sound of disapproval now. Uh, nope. Um, um, Rose. 
Uh, in, in case you didn't know, I think a Saint Bernard, Bernardal is a poodle and a Saint Bernard. Thank you for clarifying. I forgot to do that. I appreciate that. You are, so what's your opinion? You're turning into a fantastic co-host over here. Thank you. You have my back. Uh, well, I love Ouch. Saint Bernard and pu- poodles, so that would be a perfect um, match. Okay, so yeah, that's that definitely get one. So that's one vote for yes. Okay. Um, five. Space unicorn. What is your vote? Should should I get a should uh, Auntie Sugar, your mother, buy me a Saint Bernardle? Yes, and I thought I was the co-host. Uh, Sky, the last time, the very last time. Oh. How much ginger ale did you drink? <laughs> okay. Um, atmospheric all right, space <laughs> space unicorn. What is your vote? Yes. Yes, but I thought I was the co-host. Okay, um, that's another vote for yes, uh, Sky. Let's go over to you if you can if you can not burp for five seconds. What is your vote? I think she shouldn't buy you one because How you dare keep you? blaming me for your disgusting belches. <laughs> okay, let's pretend for a second that the I admitted to burping. Would you give me a, a yes vote? I don't know. Does that mean you're admitting? Well. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wink, blink Dazzle. once for yes. Uh-huh. Blink once if you'll um, give me a yes vote if I admit to burping. Okay, everybody, I burped. <laughs> I was framing Sky. It was all me. Now, your vote, please. You I believe. think she should buy you one. Okay, that's you three. You Sky's reputation. Okay, um, River, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I think she should buy you... Um, uh, one of those dogs because I well, they're very loyal. Well, mm-hmm. I think they are. Okay. <clears throat> All right, that's four yes votes now. Um, Esteban. Esteban, we're going we're going to the nefarious corner of the table. I expect two two no votes here. Um, just as so long as it gets fed. Oh, is that a yes? If you can take care of it. Okay, that's five yes votes. There's no need to continue, really, but we will. Um, Ted? I veto. That's a no. Okay, um, so... I have something to say. Oh, um, Rose, please, go ahead. Um, um, I think Perdula might not um, get um, bloat as much as usually um, St. Bernard's do. But I'm not really sure. Okay. Now st- know how to what about Auntie quote. Strawberry? Um, Auntie Strawberry. Absolutely yes. Okay, that. <laughs> listen, the. Wait, what does Space Unicorn have to say? Oh, Space I Unicorn. Yes. She she voted yes. Okay, hold on. All right, hold on. Here here comes Stomping Jen, Auntie Sugar, <laughs> to weigh in. Go ahead. Okay, Space Unicorn. Oh, can you can you please um not yell into the space mic? Space Unicorn. Okay. Go ahead. So. If you want a Saint Perdudo, then oh. be prepared to no longer be able to eat food because we're going to have to spend all our grocery money on a Saint Perdudo. Fantastic. All right. Um, let's, so that's a yes. Thank you, everybody. Um, all right. Let's, let's first, let's hold on, Ted. Um, let's go to our guests first, our, inf- our more infrequent guests. Uh, we'll first go to Sky, then Ted, then we will go back to Rose. Okay. Now, um, go ahead. Are there comments on a podcast? Um, yes. Then everyone who thinks Slimy should get a friend, put it in the comments. Yep, Slimy is our, our, our dog. Yep, Slimy is our dog, uh, our pod dog, also known as Asbury. Um, Ted, go ahead. I think that you're going to regret the decision of getting another dog. Explain. Nope, explain. Okay, so when you got... Asbury slash slimy slash pod dog. What were your what, what were your thoughts? What was going through your mind? Hmm. Well, considering the dog we got, it was a poorly considered um, decision. Uh, yes, um, Sky. Sky is grabbing my notes from me. Um, let's go to Rose. Rose had something to hey, say no, about wait, this. Wait, you skipped over question. me. Yeah. What was running through your head when we got slimy? What do you, were you like, oh, we should get a dog because dogs are awesome. Like you're thinking about the same Perdido right now. Just because it's a specific breed does not mean it can't turn out like slimy. 
Okay. I have now confirmed that I have raised Ted well. Okay. What about all right, me? Let's, all right. Let's go, to, let's go to Rose, and then we'll go to Space Unicorn, and then we're going to move on from this topic. So, actually... Go ahead, Rose. Um, how, how would you know that the St. Birdoodle would get along with Slimy Sass slash Pod Dog slash Asbury? Well, our hope is a St. Birdoodle would be about five times as large as Slimy. Um, our hope when is that it's... Slimy our, get scared? Yeah, our hope is at some point all of that would happen and the St. Birdoodle would eat Slimy. <laughs> yes, I think you love Slimy very much. You just can't... Mm, how Just dare you? It. How dare you? I'm giving you the sound of disapproval. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Rose. I, I appreciate your um, contribution there. Now, let's move on. I need my notes on Sky. Me? Okay, Space Unicorn, go ahead. Talk into the microphone. What would you like to say? We're getting a Saint Brutal. No. We're getting one. Vetoed. Stop, Ted. That is an off topic Stop. question. No. <laughs> Mom, come here. Do you have $2, okay. $2, All right. Um, no. Yeah. No. Hold on. Come here, though. Come. Yeah. Okay. So, how many votes on yes do we have? Uh, too many. Okay. So. Yeah. Too many. That right, means we're, we're getting mo- one. We're I gonna- don't care. We're getting one. We're getting one. We're getting the same bird. Birdoodle. We're getting the same birdoodle. We're getting the same birdoodle. Okay. We're enough. The same birdoodle. All right. Now let's move on. You're wasting the podcast time. Um. All right. I gotta cross this off the list. Now I have another question. This will be a quick one. It's going to be Halloween soon, right? When, first of all, what I want to know what your, has anybody picked out what their costume is going to be yet? Yep. yep. Can I get a raise of hands? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We're going to go, we're going to, we're going to go around the table again. Um, Sky. I don't know yet. Okay. That's an okay answer. Um, a uh, river. Um, I think for Halloween I'm gonna be a colonial girl. Oh, that's interesting. What's I mean, a colonial? Pioneer. What? Oh, okay. I know what that is. Okay, why did you pick that particular costume? Um, I don't know. Okay, you don't need to know. You just like it. You like the uh, way it looks. Yeah. Okay. Esteban. Details are a bit murky, but probably something demonic. Okay. <laughs> that that sounds interesting. Uh, Ted. Let me be the most scary thing imaginable. A trick-or-treater who takes more candy than just one, like it says in the baskets. Okay. Um, that's a conceptual costume, I see. Okay. Um, where... Okay, whoa. Well, um, Rose. What will your costume be for Halloween? A colonial girl, and I don't know why I picked it. Okay. Don't ask. All right, so we have What's a colonial we have girl? a pioneer girl and a colonial, a colonial girl. girl. Different costumes. What's a, what's a colonial girl? All right, um, space unicorn. What what will your costume be? I don't know what it's. I don't know what it is, but like it's something. I'm just wearing I'm unicorn. I'm just wearing stuff. Talk into the microphone over there. I'm just wearing stuff. Like okay. I have it together, but just stuff. Okay, so wear. you're gonna be just Oops. stuff. No, not okay. just stuff. But I'll, All I'm right, now I have another stuff. Halloween-related question. When should what age should kids stop trick or treating? Never. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Um, so Esteban says never. Um, let's let's it's go. So let's mix it up. Let's go to um, River over here. Go ahead, River. They should stop trick or treating at age forty-seven. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Great answer. Um, we're gonna next go to Sky. Go ahead, Sky. When should when should people stop trick or treating? I think if trick-or-treating makes you happy, you should never stop. Hmm. My dad went as the Tin Man a couple years ago. Okay. A.K.A. Uncle Hockey. Yep, Uncle Hockey. Thank you for reminding us. He's not in the room, which is why he wasn't mentioned earlier, but he's here somewhere in the building. Now, um, 
We're gonna go to Ted Esteban, then Auntie Strawberry. What about me? Then we're gonna get to you. You didn't have your hands up. Ted, how old? Until the heat death of the universe. Until the heat death of the universe. Okay. Another um, metaphysical, conceptual type of answer. Um, okay. That's interesting. Uh, did we go to you, Esteban? How old? When I should? Mean, it's fun uh, no matter what age you are, but people might River. think you unreasonable. When How you're dare you? Age twenty-five. Okay. I think we all know that wasn't River. Age twenty-five. All right. We all know that. Space unicorn. When should people stop trick or treating? <gasps> Talk into the microphone. We'll go to you, Rose. I didn't saving the. Um, when global warming ends. Okay. So this is a. Um, so it's a protest of sorts. We will finally stop trick-or-treating and demanding candy from our neighbors oh, when global warming Cass stops. Is overly optimistic and okay. so tediously bright. All right, Uncle Hockey walked into the room. He's sitting down by the fire. Um, <laughs> so did Mastiff Mom. Um, he did a little shimmy. Uh, Rose, when, when should kids stop trick-or-treating? How old? Um, it would be weird um, to have a, um, like a twin... Like a thirty-year-old, um, ask for um, How candy dare at your house. Okay. <laughs> so I think like somewhere around nineteen. Okay, nineteen. Okay. All right, um, Auntie Strawberry, you had something to say here. Let's hear what you have to say. I am in wholehearted agreement with Sky. I mm -hmm. think that people should trick or treat as long as it makes them happy, because there are so many negative things in the world. Why not? And if neighbors are willing to provide candy, everyone should be willing to take it, okay. able to take it. And I also agree with River, who said right. the elderly should be able to trick or treat. All right, that's an I'm in agreement. That's an optimistic, if not left wing, view of um, <laughs> Halloween and trick or treating. Thank you. Um, I think we all know who you're voting for in the presidential election. Um, <laughs> war in 2020. Um, <laughs> okay, now, um, Ted, you weighed in already. We're gonna, we're gonna I'm move yes. on. I'm yes. Now, hold on. I just mentioned something, and I want to get your thoughts. Now, this is gonna be controversial. I'm gonna warn you. Nobody is gonna want to hear from kids about politics. Oh, but you know what? No, uh, yeah, I do. But listen, your uncle, your uncle Sawtooth Frank respects your opinions. So I'm gonna ask the question. Nobody else will ask you. Okay. Now, will Donald Trump be our next president? Okay, I only see one hand going up. I thought this would be more controversial. I thought this would be more exciting. Now, um, the nefarious corner of the table, please just wait your turn. Um, we're going to first go um, over here to River. River, what would you like to say? Um... I do not think he will be our next president. Okay, why not? Um, he is a... Say whatever's on your mind. A terrible person. I will protect, I'll protect your identity. Um, Secret Service, they live in Salem. Um, go on, please. And... No one in our family likes him. Okay, um... Not Sawtooth. I love you, President Trump. Don't worry. Um, now, um, um, we'll, we'll, we'll go to um, we'll go to Rose, and then the nefarious corner of the table always goes last. You might as well not even raise your hands at this point. Okay, uh, we'll go to you in a minute, Sky. Um, Rose, please. I'm very interested in your thoughts on this. I mean, I do not want him to be um, the president of 2020, but he might be. So don't get your hopes up. Wow. You are a pragmatist and a realist. Give me five. Okay. Um, it's possible. It could happen. But we, you know, um, let's hope not. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, space Unicorn, anything you want to say? Okay. No, she's rolling around in front of the... The fire. I think she's quit the podcast. Sky, please go ahead. I don't usually get involved in these politic things, mm -hmm. but I don't think Donald Trump will win again. Okay. All right. 
And uh, with, with great hesitation, we're going to the nefarious corner of the table. Ted, what would you like to say? So this really depends. Uh, it depends on whether or not the impeachment, uh, they're actually able to impeach Donald Trump, which of course they will, but they will probably not be successful at removing him. So it's a bit odd that they would impeach him at this time, considering that uh, considering it sort of undermines Joe Biden's campaign, one of the leading Democratic uh, run- runners, uh, because Trump just wants to launch investigation after investigation into him because of that. Also, we're so close to the 2020 election, it's sort of like, why bother? Also, you'd get Mike Pence as president after that, uh, okay. which is uh, which his intentions are very similar to Donald Trump's, except it's pretty clear that he would like a theocracy. Um, so I think it depends. Uh, on somebody hit his pause button, please. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, I, I, those those were well considered thoughts, actually. Um, I'm not done yet. Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, so it really de- so this depends. Um, so because of this, I think that if he is if he's successfully removed, I'm actually not sure about whether or not Mike Pence can actually run for president. Boring. No, okay, go ahead, please. <laughs> Whether or not Mike Pence can actually become president if he's if he's um if he's elected pres if he uh, becomes president from the position of vice president, stop muting me. I'm not muting you. What are you doing? Uh, go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the snoring sound effect. Go ahead. Stop. Go ahead. <laughs> so, anyways, I think that um I think that. Um, there's about a 75% chance that he will not be elected, though I think there's a 25% chance that he that he will uh, be elected. The reason being so is because it's more likely that he won't be removed, and it undermines Joe Biden's campaign, so he may become president. It's a small chance, considering all the stuff he's done. Okay. But I think that there, um, I think that it's a much greater, uh, uh, there's a much greater chance that one of the other um, runners will uh, take his place. Okay, is that it? Yes. Okay, thank you. I think Ted researched Donald Trump's likelihood of being reelected. Because that seems like too much information no. to form in one's brain. Okay, um, Esteban, is there anything up? Remember, uh, talking to the front of that microphone, Esteban. you got to get close to it. Secret nope, you got to turn it the other no. way. Nope, turn it. Turn it the other way. Turn it towards you. There you go. The man is an idiot. Uh, okay. I um, sincerely hope that he does not become the president again. Okay. I try to be um, optimistic about a lot of things, but this is not one of them. Okay. Um, remember Secret Service? That was not me who said that. Um, I'm fully in support of Donald Trump being reelected, and the my first the the imp- the effort the effort to impeach him is a national travesty, and the man is an idiot. All right. Now, um, uh, Sky. I think you're just saying that for the podcast. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Are you accusing me of um, cowardice? Yes, I am. Go, Sky. I am a brave podcaster. I would never throw a bunch of children under the bus by asking a loaded question. Or are you? Throw them under the Trump label jumbo jet. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, enough about... Um, our greatest president ever, Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's cost cost he wasn't good idea to elect me. Cough, cough. Mm-hmm. Not that wall. All right, I have a, now I have a... I know uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, 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 Trump 2020 uh, elect me. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Pence is my best buddy. So is Kimmy Jong-un. Donald Trump and is a fraud and a liar. Trump. You know what, Ted? That was actually a really good impression. I'm going to give you a, I'm gonna give you a sound Trump. of approval. Oh, yeah. Do you- why is All right, is now I have. Is Trump I hate like Kim Donald Trump. Trump. Or Putin? Is All right, I have a question. Let's move on. I have another question. This is one that um, Auntie Sugar will confirm has been plaguing our household in recent times. This is a question, and I want an answer from all of you. Why can't kids pick up their socks? <laughs> oh yeah. All right, um, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go back. All right, we're gonna start on my left this time. Rose. Answer the question, please. Why can't kids pick up their socks? How do you know all kids don't pick up their socks? I mean, you have no proof, and maybe they it's just your proof. kid. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the source. Um, Auntie Strawberry. 
Do River and Rose pick up their socks? I will not say who, but one does pick up their socks oh. and one does not pick up their socks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will say one doth protest too much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that may give you a hint of who I'm talking about. Okay, I think I know who. River, pick up okay, your socks. Just mute that microphone. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Rose. <laughs> I'm, I'm beginning. All right. All right. Um, Ted, let's go to you. Why can't kids pick up their socks? So, um, why bother picking up your socks? And so, they're really soft and comfy. So, if you're like, you leave one on a couch by accident, it's just like extra support. And it just it feels really nice. There's so many uses for socks, you see. You can use them as hand warmers, so they're conveniently lying around the house on cold days. You just stick them over your hands. And you don't need to. You don't need to pick them up. They're really useful. They also uh, can be used as a. Uh, what the hell? Really? Again? But they can also be used Rose, as like grips. Rose, right? excuse you can yourself. Put them on them, and then you can pick stuff up yeah, way easier. Me. I think socks are convenient multi-tool that should uh -oh. be lying around every household. Okay. All right. Um, Esteban. Uh. Answer the question. Because they forget. All right. That's fair. All right. Well, um, that's let's. A much simpler answer. Um. <laughs> Uh, River, thank you. Um. Um, kids do not pick up their socks because um, they have lots of other important things to do. Oh, like what? Um, Probably listen to podcasts what's more? like this one. We're on. Oh, give me a high five. You win. You get a sound of approval. Okay, Stabon's lying on the floor now. Um, River, <laughs> Space Unicorn, we'd like your opinion on this, please. All right, she's protesting. Um, okay, we may have to end this. Everybody's leaving. Um, no, okay, Sky, no, go ahead. No. Um, kids don't pick up their socks because they have more important things to do, like do the massive piles of homework we get? Yes. I still have so much to do. I have to do it Bad in the homework. Time. Actually, I don't have. Me and um, River, River don't actually have homework. We don't have it until after Halloween. Oh. Good for you. That's awesome. Good for you. I know. Okay, um, Sky. Also, answer the question, please. I, I just did. Oh, did you? Sorry. But, um. I'd also like to say that somebody left their socks on the front stairs of the cabin. Cough, cough, space unicorn, cough, cough. Oh, space unicorn left her socks on the front steps of the cabin? Yeah. Let's okay. go see what she has to say. Space unicorn is protesting for some reason. Let's go see what she has to say. Just so you know, I am basically putting on my socks right now. Oh, where were they? Where did you leave them? In, near the fireplace so they could get all warm and I can use them as a feet warmer. Okay. All right. Anything else? Um, do the grown-ups in the room want to weigh in on this? Mastiff mom. Uncle Hockey. Uncle Pine Tree. Um, Auntie Sugar, do you have anything you want to say? About this sock situation. Go ahead, please. Stomping Jen. I think Jen. that it seems like an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. And it can be done at any time. And the socks should go into the appropriate receptacles for socks. Okay, um, Sky. You said that no kids pick up their socks. But at one point, you guys were kids, so you guys probably know why you didn't pick up your socks. Wow. So why do you have to bother asking us? Okay. We have a situation going on over here. Ted, sit down. Okay. Uh, do you have anything more you want to say, Ted? I was fine. No. All right. Did you shout his real name? Yes. Okay. That's what he's uh, getting all upset about. Yeah, we'll take it out, um, Ted. <laughs> okay, now. Have we said everything we need to about this? No, no, I looked at your list of topics. Okay. We have more. Okay. 
<laughs> I do want to say one last thing. It is basically a crime you're committing against your parents when you leave socks lying around. We all work very hard to take care of you. And you're creating extra work for us. What if you, um, it isn't extra work? Like, what if someone does the dishes and in return, like, the parent pick it, picks up their socks? So, you never thought about that, probably. I have a solution. <laughs> Go ahead, um, Stomping Jen. I think we should issue one pair of socks to each child, and then they would always know where their socks are. And, um, and Auntie Mastiff Mom, what's her name? Mast Mastiff Mom is Mastiff agreeing Mom with agrees. me. <laughs> River, you, River um, you had a shocked look on your face when, um, <laughs> when Auntie Sugar suggested that you only be allowed to have one pair of socks. Do you have anything you want to say about that? But what if you lose that pair of socks? That's the well, point. <laughs> then somebody is going mind? without socks for the well, winter. Well, actually, what if you had cold feet for the rest of the winter, like at frostbite, and, you, and your mo mom or dad would be accused? <laughs> then your mom and no. dad would be liable for suing. Yep, no, then somebody's going to be a toeless freak for the rest of their life. <laughs> Yes, Sky. Are you just All right, are you calling Sky. people without toes freaks? That's offensive to people without toes. All right, now go on. No, um, no, don't skip over this. this Sky, go ahead. You should apologize to your fan base. What if there's someone without toes in your fan base? Sky, please go ahead. If we, You're if a you, monster. If parents only give their kids one pair of socks yes. because they're complaining that picking up the socks is too much work, they'd have to waste more money on buying more detergent and using the um, washing machine and dryer more because they have to keep repeatedly washing that one pair of socks every single night because you guys can't just pick up your child's lost socks because they have to go do their homework. So whose fault is this? Deal the teachers. With the blisters. Thank you, Esteban. Yeah, I hate blisters. Nobody nope. said that you need socks. Nobody likes blisters. And I think we can all agree on that. Everybody likes socks. Oh, you think you don't need socks? How about you go the rest of the week with no socks and see how it turns out? All right. Yeah, I can't do that. River? River? Never. You look like you want to jump in and say something. Do you have anything you want to add? No. No, She's okay. Frozen. Space Unicorn, any, any final thoughts on this topic? Okay. I'm just going to cut in her sound effect every time okay. we go to her. That sounds like a great idea. Yep. Okay. What, wait, what's her sound effect? It's um, a sound of a, a unicorn I recorded in the wild. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was so realistic. All right. Yeah, just so realistic. All right. Intense scribbling. Ted, stop doing your uh, Rubik's Cube in front of the microphone. Now, Sky, you wrote some topics here. I can't read them. Why are you saying stop? You can talk into the microphone. Go ahead. Okay. All right, this is a good question. This is a good question. This is from Sky. When, yep, she wrote it. She doesn't want you to say it's from her. You don't want me to say it? Okay, this question is not from Sky. I came up with, <laughs> I came up with this all by myself, okay. Yeah, you're making. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Rose. If you could create a holiday, what holiday would it be? So a brand new holiday to celebrate whatever you wanted. This is a really great question I came up with, by the way. Um, Rose, go ahead, please. Dog day. Dog day. When, when you go to an animal shelter and let all the dogs loose and you have to run around town kicking them all. Okay, I like this holiday. This sounds like fun. It is. As long as it involves a Saint Berdoodle. Ah, uh, if they have any Saint Berdoodles at the shelter. Okay, um, Ted. It's called Eternal Summer Break. Eternal uh, Summer it's Break. It's where you never go back to school. That's called being an adult. Yeah. No, yep. it's not called being an adult. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, I do have to work. Uh, Rose, how that dare was you? Not me. What are you doing to yourself? Okay. Um, Esteban. <laughs> too much things in jail. Okay, Esteban. What would um? What holiday would you create? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I have a lot to contribute to this conversation. You sure do. Okay. Um, Actually, Ted. We'll move along. We're, we're losing podcast participants like rats off a sinking ship. No. Looks like 45 minutes is probably the upper limit here. No. All right, I'm Last time we had an hour. Yep. I don't know if we'll make it, guys. All right. Um, River, if you could create a holiday, what holiday would you create? Um, my holiday would be... Do you want to think about it for another minute? Yeah. Okay, we'll come back to you. Uh, Sky, please, go ahead. This is not about my holiday, but you said that there are losing podcast members, like if rats went off a, a ship. Yeah. But that'd mean they were drowning, and we're not supposed to talk about drowning because we lost our family member, septic tank Sally, oh to drowning. <laughs> And oh, it that's all right. Comes full circle. And if you go back and did we talk about septic tank yes, Sally on episode on the um? Why are you like the cabin eight episode? A weird, like, yeah, I have my to this okay. Water. <laughs> we just talk about so we'll tell we'll tell our listeners if you want to understand about septic tank Sally and why Sky is bringing that back up, go back and listen to the episode on cabin eight. You'll find it. It has cabin eight in the title. I don't know what episode number that is, but. What's going on? Now, Sky, the question before you. Please answer. Um, what holiday would you create? After, Go on, whenever you feel ready. I'm really interested. Go ahead. After being rudely interrupted several times. Yes, go on. I decided that my holiday would be National Dolphins Are Dogs Day. National Dolphins Are Dogs Day. Okay. Exactly what do you do on that holiday? Um, you Great question, Rose. Great question. Yeah, you just interrupted her. As I was saying, on National Dolphins Are Dogs Day, you'd go to the aquarium and see the dolphins do all their tricks, and then you'd go to the animal shelter, which is similar to Rose's holiday, and see all the dogs do their tricks. Okay. What if they were bulldogs? Bulldogs are really hard to train. I've hmm. got my holiday. Okay, um, all right, um, Esteban, please. It's called Whoops, and it's on the exact same day as Columbus Day and recognizes all of the destruction, death, and dilution of culture that was caused by Columbus touching down in America. Okay. What is he saying? You know what? I'm giving that a sound of approval. You're showing um, great sensitivity to the indigenous peoples of this um, continent on um, what we really should be calling Indigenous Peoples Day. Very well done, this day, Bond. Thank you. Um, and it's on the exact same day, so people can realize that they're partying over the deaths of millions. Yes. Thank you, Esteban. Your um, your social consciousness is to be celebrated and awarded with another um, celebratory sound. All right. Taco instead. Um, River. Um, my holiday day would be stuffed animal holiday. Oh. And stuffed animal holiday. I like and this. And you would, um, your parents would give you $1,000, and you could buy all the stuffed animals you wanted. Yeah, I, what about some of us who don't care for stuffed animals, like me? Um, hmm. You wouldn't celebrate it. That's Great cool. answer, animals. River. Great Stuffing answer. Animals. Um, Sky. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. animals made of, like, fake fur and stuff. Okay. Oh, oh, so you mean, like, not, like, the... The killed and stuffed animals. Oh no, no. All right. Okay, because I like I like the other one. Okay, um, Sky. Because River came up with such a great holiday, I think Uncle Pine Tree and Auntie Strawberry should fork over a thousand dollars to River. I agree. <laughs> yeah, give a like, thousand dollars to me too, so I can buy a puggle and a bath undy and the tape Bernard and other stuff like that. Although I would need about a million dollars. It's only twenty fifth of what it All right, costs now to listen. Buy a 
All right. Yeah. We've hit f almost. We've hit fifty minutes. I don't think we're gonna make it another ten minutes. Well, we still got a whole list. To I don't think you're gonna make yeah. another ten minutes. Uh. What is wrong with River. you? River. That was not that her. Was not that was me. not my sister. All How right. dare you accuse River now, of I'm gonna bring up. I'm gonna bring up fiend. a controversial yes, topic. Fiend. One, I'm gonna bring up a controversial topic. Okay, one we all have firsthand experience with. Woodland safety. Oh gosh. Now, hold on. <laughs> does it? Does? I'm a um, second. Okay, Sky. What would you like to say about woodland safety? Okay. So I think that if you go hiking mm -hmm. with your go family, on. go on, go on, Sky. You shouldn't run down a mountain by yourself. Huh? You don't I say. Really? I wonder who did that. No. Cough, cough, Ted. Cough, cough, cough. Now, Sky. Yes. This is this is um this sounds like a common sense type of opinion. Yeah. You know, if you go on a family hiking trip, <laughs> who would think you're supposed to stay with your family? Okay, Rose. Yeah. Rose, is there anything you want to say about woodland safety? No. Good to bring a knife. Okay. Um, River. For what? River. Um, For fending off the evil villains that tried to kill you when you ran off by yourself? River, do you do you agree with what Sky has said? If you were on a family hike, do you think it's appropriate to um, separate yourself from your family and no. run down a mountain? No, not at all. Interesting. It is unsafe and not loyal. And not loyal. and unless I a gnome guides you to the its home and um who has did two it of it. A and, hold on, hold on, um, hold on, uh, hold on. Uh, hold makes on, uh, a playground for you. Has a sleepover. So, let me get this straight, River. It's okay to abandon your family if a gnome <laughs> guides you to a playground. <laughs> oh, or a, or a pixie or someone like that. Okay. Well, a pix that wouldn't be hallucinating. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, no. All right. Um, <laughs> let's go to let's go to <laughs> let's let's go to yeah. Ted. We want to. Okay. One at a time. Um, Ted, we want to hear your thoughts on woodland safety. Specifically, um, if, you could, if you could address what Sky brought up. Okay, so today we went on a hike, okay? Uh -huh. And we all went to the top of the mountain. And, and Talk, was, get a little closer to the mic, please. We all went to the top of the mountain, and everyone went up there. When it was time to go well, down. Well, I didn't okay. go. Go ahead, a little slower. Go ahead. When it was time to go down. Yes. I was going ahead a few paces. Nobody said this was you. We were just talking about woodland safety in general. Cough, cough, Ted. Oh, that's really? right. <laughs> uh, yep, go ahead. And um, and uh, I heard, don't run to meet us at the red and yellow intersection. So mm -hmm. I thought that I was individually being addressed. So I walked down the mountainside at a rather quick pace and... Waited at the a yellow and red intersection. However, there were two yellow and red intersections, trailblazes, one of which I did not see. Uh, so huh. I waited at the ladder, and it, and then everyone was looking for me. Okay. So that is what happened. Okay. These sound like a hot right, pile of Sky. excuses. Um, <laughs> Sky, go ahead. When we heard Ted rambling on about politics, we all thought he was smart. <laughs> then we hear this, and all our opinions have changed. Yes. Mm -hmm. This happens to you, smart. I got the sound of approval. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was on, now Ted. For the record, that was um, that was Stomping Jen, Auntie Sugar, who who issued the sound of approval. I remained neutral. Now, are there? Anything else we want to say about woodland safety? Anyone else? Um, Ted, go ahead. Don't, Since you've been accused, go ahead. Okay, don't um, don't don't uh, threaten people, especially if they're your friends, with large flaming sticks. Just okay. saying. Okay. That's true. Sky. That doesn't sound like woodland safety advice. <laughs> That's just as general good advice. When I c 
cook a potato and use a stick to poke it, that does not mean I am threatening you. You literally said, I'm going to stab you with this stick if you don't stop. All right, now, in our last five minutes. <laughs> See, we didn't really do it. In our Thank last, you, Rose. In our last five minutes, we're going to address another controversy that has emerged here in Maine. Uh, go ahead, Sky. What would you like to I say? I have another woodland safety thing. Well, okay. Go ahead. We're about to move on, but since you since you raised your hand, go ahead. If a kid wearing a mask emerges from the woods on a power <laughs> scooter, well, you probably shouldn't talk to him, especially if he offers you apple cider and asks to come play with you. Okay, I'm, gra- I'm glad you brought that up, Sky, because this was my next topic. It was stranger danger. Now, anybody else want to say anything about this? Yes. Go I ahead. Do. So, um, there was this, um, so... Go slowly, are, please. Get a little closer to the microphone. Where we are currently staying is a lodge, right? Um, and it's surrounding a road. And <clears throat> it's very rural out here. It's, okay. There's only, like, a few surrounding houses. It's, like, a pretty main... It's, like, a main highway that, like, no one drives on. Okay. Apparently. Go ahead. And there was this kid who was power scootering back and forth with a green bandana... It was purple. All right. Uh, it was green. La- it was green. It was purple. Okay. It, ch- it changed colors. Day now, day. In, def- it was purple. in defense no, of no, Ted, no. the last time I saw the, um, this, it was green. He was wearing one today that was purple. Yeah, but it was, yeah, it was green. Yesterday. Okay. For Anyways, it was today. they. It's possible he. It's possible he well, changed his bandana. Many bandanas. Because Sky and Esteban had gotten here before any of us, uh, I was told that this. Kid was like riding around on his power scooter, um, like waving at them, and they like didn't really respond because who would? You don't know this person, and so the next day, um, we we were all there at the, we were all here at this point, um, and uh. Right. Let me let me make a long story short here. Um, the no, adults. No, no, the, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the adults encouraged you all to be kind to this. Um, child and um engage him in dialogue right yes right so what happened and, and he did so um what, next time he was scootering down the highway yeah um we like waved at him and he pulled up okay and it came up and was like hi would you like to play with me um okay. and we were very unsettled by this encounter so we said we don't know because we don't want to be mean but we also don't want to like invite what could potentially be a psychopath with a machete into our, uh, in, into our, uh, like, where we are. All right, but now pause there. Sky has to say something about this. Go ahead. Um, I wanted to continue the story. So after this encounter, we were all talking to the adults about it, and you all said, oh, you should invite him over to this house that isn't ours. So next time we saw him, we flagged him down, and he pulled over, and... Ted kind of said something along the lines like, hi, how are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, why do you keep driving by our okay. lodge and, like, just waving at us? And he's like, um, I wanted to come over and play tetherball with you. Can I come over tomorrow? So we were like, um, sure. Okay. Um, Auntie Strawberry's handing out cream puffs at the podcast table. Cream puffs. And okay. after... Yeah, we, we were just kind of like, um, okay, because the parents told us to. And then, he, so today, we had to go on a hike. Yep. And so when we got back, he was waiting at the end of the driveway, get, glaring at us like we did something wrong. So then he pulls up, and he was like, so I'm here to play tetherball. So Ted went and played tetherball, and after driving by for several days... I think he would have realized that there's three dogs. But then he makes us put all the dogs inside. Because he had a phobia of dogs, apparently. And then, so Ted continues to play tetherball. So me and River are playing with the ball, and we look at my brother, Esteban, and we ask him to play hide and seek with us. Okay. Then this kid goes on to yell, hide and seek? I love hide and seek! And continues to walk over to me and River like he's playing. And we, me and River just kind of looked at each other like, um, what do we do? And so, well, we played hide and seek. And 
We were kind of concerned that he was going to go into the lodge that is not ours and hide. Okay. Now, let me ask a question. It was no. some. Let, no, I need to ask a question because if somebody asked it, is there any possibility that this is some kind of ghost child of the mountains? Yes. Yes. Very low. Very high. <laughs> very high. Also, as I was saying, he gifted us with an apple cider that had a warning label that said, this product may be harmful to children. <laughs> Consume at your own risk. All right, listen, we've hit an hour. This has gone on too long. No, no, let me, please let me talk. All right, make it, make it quick. All right, so while we were playing tetherball, I was like very unsettled because he was like, he was like grunting, like every time he's like, Ugh! and he was going, yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> Interesting. And it was really, uh, really creepy. I was like, hey, you want to sub out for me? But he was quickly like, okay, let's go back. I mean, sorry, okay, Ted, right here, right here. Uh, cut that. But, um, okay, Ted, go back, right? So, um, uh, so I, I did, and then I was like trying to get. Oh, my bad. I do, I'm doing it again. Sorry. All right, I'm going to cut you off and no. kick you off if you because, say another person's okay. real name. And Sky was like, and Sky, and Sky was like, just left and <laughs> left me there with him. <laughs> and I was like grunting and going, yes, kick the ball. And it was, and I, I was very scared at that point. All right, I said make no. it short. Now, fine, okay. Go ahead, um, and go ahead. Who won? Go ahead, Rose. Who won the tether ball match? I don't know, I didn't want to touch the ball after that, because, <laughs> so I was just like letting him hit it. Um, and the re I think the reason okay. why he went back was because. Okay. Enough. Now, I want to, I want to, hold on. No, no more about this. I want to say one, one thing. One more thing. Mostly to make myself look good. Now, listen, I encouraged you all and other adults encouraged you all to engage this child um, with the, with the context that it's always better to be kind, right? And not exclude people. I see our lessons fell on deaf ears. Um, this this tether ball incident um, does not sound like it went well. No. Now, oh, go ahead, um, Sky. So you're saying that, and next time we go on a family vacation to who knows where, if we see a lone power scooter. We should say, please come join our family vacation. We'd love to play tetherball and grunt with you. And All right. also, don't interrupt me. People I'm going to mute you, uh, Sky. People say that dogs will, like, they know when somebody's bad. Right. And a, a pod dog by the name of Ripple comes bounding over to this kid and starts going nuts. Like, this dog went nuts, barking. So we all have our suspicions about this person. So you do think he might have been a ghost child of the mountains? Not necessarily <laughs> just a ghost child. There's no other explanation just for the, the dog's reaction. The all right, Ted, last word. It okay. better be quick. Yeah. So the reason, like... So the reason that this kid went home was likely because, um, was likely because Mastiff Mom brought out her Mastiff, and it, it, he had a dog barking, barking at him, and he had Slimy like chasing him because she's ridiculously quick. And then, and then I think the I think the final straw was when Mastiff Mom brought out brought out Odin, the massive Mastiff, and he was just like was staring over there like. Oh no, oh no. And then he like slowly backed away. And like you wouldn't go over there. Okay, all right. And he was just like eyeing at Odin as he like left. All right, right, so instead of being com nice. kind and compassionate to this child, like I recommended, oh, we gave him a shot. you sicked our dogs on him. How dare you? Actually, Mastiff Mom sicked the dogs on him. All right, clearly this is a, this is a lost generation. All right, now let's, um, do we have final words, Rose? We're wrapping this up. Let me just say this. There's a dog called the Puggo that is a mix of a pug and a beagle. That's all I more have. To That's do. it? Any final words about appearing on the podcast? Did you have a good time? 
Uh, up here, please. Yes. Okay, well, I want to thank you personally for your contributions. You were great as always. We should do this more often. Have a happy whoops day. Okay, thank you, Esteban. Ted, a final word ha or two. Happy dog day. I'm now fearful of power scooters. Okay. <laughs> River, you were great this time. Fantastic. Um, a great showing. Go ahead. What would I you like to say? My holiday is today since I made it up. So it's actually every day. Okay, thank you. Um, anything you want to say about appearing on the podcast today? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. Sky. I have a couple things to say. Oh, no. All right, well. Burping was totally Number one, I think we all learned that wandering down a mountain is not a good idea, as well as inviting loners on power scooters into your house. Agreed. Okay. Also, I wanted to restate my opinion from my first appearance that dolphins are dogs. Okay, thank and you. And my Labrador. final Labrador. words is Labrador. Yes. one of my Labrador. friends that watches the podcast, London, asked me to say some things for her. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Bubbles. Okay. Um, okay. Now, clearly, clearly London is a fan of Sawtooth Frank. And or London. Is he a fan of Sky? How dare you! I will not stand for this kind of outrageous behavior on the Soft Serve podcast. No, literally. Uh, would she ask you if he, he was your fan to say uh, you to say something? But if he, if he was um, Sky's fan, she would ask her. Now you listen here, Rose. Where I was gonna go with this was that clearly London wanted to hear me say bubbles. Okay. So or I will it? say it. Bubbles. Is everybody ready? Bubbles. 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 I think we just found bubbles. the bubbles. I think we just found the bubbles. title. The title for bubbles. this podcast. Bubbles. bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Join our cult. Bubbles, bubbles. It's recorded. We found a thousand. Okay. All right. All right. Enough. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. bubbles. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now wait. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now the adults. Um, space. First. Wait. Space unicorn. Final words, please. Please come over here, Space Unicorn. Bubbles! That was Rose. Rose, thank you, Rose. Um, Space Unicorn, final words. Um, there's like only one more thing. Okay, um, the adults. We're gonna go around. They're... Yes, guy. Are the kids gonna get to say another final <clears throat> last word? No, word? you said your final last words, and you decided to say bubbles for 10 minutes. <laughs> Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Okay, Stomping Jen, Auntie Sugar. Yes, yes, Auntie Sugar. Final it's words. Remember to celebrate National Dolphins Our Dogs Day, May 23rd. Final words. Happy Dogs Day. Go May ahead. May 37th. What? Any final words? Final words. Okay. Um, Final word. I want s'mores. Let's go to let's go to Auntie Strawberry, please. S'mores. You always have something um, wise and insightful to say. I would just like to say that this is delightful, and thank you, Sawtooth Frank, for oh, this experience. Oh, praise for me. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you to all the kids for participating, and it's wonderful to have Especially this little time capsule. Especially Space Unicorn. Yes, yeah, Space Unicorn, her, whose contributions are always. Yep. Right on. Yep. All right. Now, we're gonna. I, I expect I know the answer to this. We're gonna we're gonna ask the Uncle answer. Uncle Pine Tree if he has any the words answer, to contribute. The answer is bubbles. All right. He ex he exhaled <laughs> dramatically. Uncle Pine Tree. Uncle Pine Tree. Uncle you don't. Tree. You, no, that's a no. No, no. We're gonna res we're gonna respect we're gonna respect people. I'm giving the opportunity. Now, Mastiff Mom, where are you? No, she wants me to say it for her. 
Oh, uh, um, go ahead, um, Sky, please. She told me to say that she did not sick the mastiff on the kid. <laughs> of course she would say that. Um, okay, yep. we all know the truth. Yep. Um, She's our savior. Also. Yep, Uncle Hockey has vacated the room, no, so I don't think we're going to hear from him. He's right there. You can't now, see oh, I can't he see him. Now, um, Sky, go ahead. You can talk into my mic. She also said that children should not jump up and down near cliffs. Oh, that's true. We no, didn't we talk should. about this. We definitely should. She All also right. said that children should pick up their socks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are and, there any and other... Auntie Strawberry agrees with me, <laughs> although she's not saying it verbally. She's nodding her head in agreement. Am I missing any other true. adults? True story, bro. Uh, Sky. We all know who that was. Listen, um, I'm going to talk directly to you for a moment, London. Um, your friend Sky has been burping into the microphone all evening and accusing other people of... Who's including, including the host, Sawtooth Frank, of burping. Would you, like me to, would you like me to change my vote? <laughs> what did you say? Rose just farted and ran away. Rose, Rose, did you fart no. into the microphone? No. Hundred percent, ran away. Because I want to, I want to give, I want to give you a sound of approval. Okay. Farted and ran away. All right. All right. It was a cute fart. It was, okay. It was Auntie Strawberry. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Aunt, Auntie Strawberry is a vegan. <laughs> gaseous, gaseous folks, those vegans. Um, it's okay. Um, now, final, final words. Sky, you said you wanted to say something. Go Thank ahead. You. Remember to celebrate National Dolphins, our dogs day on Okay, May great. <laughs> now, I'm going to hit the outro music. Go to the aquarium. And I'm going to say and one last shelter. time. And Rose says, and the animal shelter. I'm going to say one last time. And let all the dogs out. Is everybody listening? No. Thank you for appearing on the podcast. You're welcome. Okay. I love hearing. I love hearing from you all. I love most of you. I won't reveal. Whoops. I won't reveal. No, I love you all. Thank you for appearing. Okay, I love spending time with you. This was fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to hit the outro music. You won't be able to hear it, but I can, and that's all that matters. Can we talk during it? No, because I'm going to mute your microphones, okay? I'm going to mute everyone's microphone, recording my own. So, I'm going to say, Stomping Jen, what do I say? Bye now. Without bye further now. without bye further ado, bye you can now. all join me, okay? On three, we're gonna all say bye now. Rose, get Hello on now. in here. Come on. Hello now. Hello. On the count of three. Hello now. Okay. On the count of three, we're gonna give everybody a bye now, okay? Without further ado, one, two, three. Jen's bye Jen's now. Jen's 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 becoming a community of dreadful fear and hate. Those who have freedom will understand also its heavy responsibility. That all who are insensitive to the needs of others will learn charity. And that the sources, scourges of poverty, disease, and ignorance will be made disappear from the earth. And that in the goodness of time, all peoples will come to live together in a peace guaranteed 